the economy will be at the centre of the political debate when Parliament resumes for 2012 this afternoon. Both the government and the opposition are hoping to score some early political points. Speaking outside Parliament a short time ago, the Treasurer Wayne Swan said the economy is in a good position. There is a great de deal of volatility out there at the moment, but the Australian economy has great underlying strengths. We have low unemployment, uh, we have contained inflation, we have a strong investment pipeline and of course we are bringing our budget back to surplus in 2012-13. Yesterday I think we saw the latest instalment in the slapstick farce that is the Liberal Party's economic policy. We saw Mr Robb fail to commit to bringing the budget back to surplus not just in 2012-13 but at any time. And as you know, Mr Hockey has already said there's a $70 billion crater in the Liberal Party's bottom line. So to see Mr Hockey last night on Q&A deny that he ever said it when he said that on sunrise with the cameras rolling just demonstrates the slapstick farce of the Liberal Party's economic policy. We've also got uh, a bit, of, bit more competition out there. I think today we see uh, in the banking sector, we've seen the commitment from the NAB uh, to keep its standard variable rate lower than the other major banks. We've now got a lot more competition out in the banking sector and I would say to everyone out there in Australia, shop around because you can do even better than the major banks in terms of the standard variable rate if you shop around. The cash rate at the moment is 4.25 per cent. When the Liberals left office it was 6.75 per cent. If you've got a $300,000 mortgage at the moment, you're paying $3,000 less per year for your mortgage than when the Liberal Party was last in power. You can see the impact of our competition reforms in the banking sector right now. And you can go out there and shop around and get better deals than those offered by the major banks. But it was good to see the commitment from the NAB today to be lower than any of the other major banks. I've made my attitude very clear. I want to see red hot competition in the banking sector. That's why we've put in place the capacity for people who are not happy with their banks to walk down the road and get a better deal. That's what the banking competition package was all about when we announced it uh, at the end of the year before last. And it's now out there having a real impact. Wayne Swan, and it's a full-on slanging match this morning between the federal government and the banks on ABC Radio on the AM program a short time ago. David Murray, the head of the Future Fund and former head of the Commonwealth Bank, really took aim at the federal government, accusing the government of unwanted political interference in the running of Australia's banks.